up? This is Joe Rogan, and you are watching MMA Ring Report. But you already knew that, right? Yes, you did. You're so smart. Put you on the spot a little bit. Uh, we have Rashad Evans taking on Leo Tomashita. Um, you know, but neither of those guys are known as being you know, a fan favorite. Um, I've talked to many, many fans and interviewed many people over the years, and, and it's very rare that if I ask a fan who your favorite fighter is, you know, I, 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 yeah, I don't think I've ever heard one person say Lyoto Mashida, and maybe only a handful have said Rashad. Everyone says Chuck and Randy. Um, I mean, a fight like that, why do you think that uh, those two fighters haven't really garnered um, the attention of the fans? Well, first of all, I think Lyoto Machida's last fight was very, very exciting. That Thiago Silva knockout was just spectacular. I mean, he moved away the entire fight and attacked from the outside and attacked very effectively, pinpoint accuracy, and then eventually knocked him out at the, at the buzzer of the first round. I mean, it was just a destruction. He didn't take any punishment whatsoever. You know, he hasn't taken a power punch since BJ Penn. You know, I mean, that's incredible, you know, and, and by the way, it shows you what a bad motherfucker BJ Penn is, you know, fights Lyoto at like 205 fucking, fucking pounds when he's 155 pounder. But Lyoto is so good at avoiding danger, and he inflicts a lot of it, man. You know, I mean, and, and you know, when you look at like the Tito Ortiz fight, you know, he's a... He's a fucking powerful striker, you know. He blasted Tito with that knee to the body, and he almost got caught in a triangle, and you know, and showed a lot of heart in getting out of that. That looked really close, you know. I think he's very, very impressive, you know. I I love that style. I love the style of the taking the least amount of damage. I think that's the smart way to fight, you know. I don't need a guy to stand in front of a guy. It's exciting enough. You don't need to just swing it. And sometimes when people do it, they just do it. They test wheels, and yeah, it is pretty badass. It's crazy to see, but. Honestly, that's not the most intelligent way to fight. The most intelligent way to fight is to fight like Machida fights. He doesn't take any damage. He, you, I always say that getting punched in the face, getting knocked out, it's like you have a, a card, man. You can only get your card punched so many times. You know, you can only get shut off so many times. I don't know what the number is. I mean, and I'm sure everybody's number is different. But every time you get shut off, it's a little more likely that you're going to get shut off the next time. And that's a fact. And that's everybody who has ever fought has said that, that that's happened to them, that they used to have a good chin until they got knocked out a couple of times. And then they would get hit and they would just go. I mean, it just it is what it is. You know, it's the nature of the beast. And uh, I, I prefer watching guys fight intelligently. You know, and I'm, look, I, I'm a huge Vandalay Silva fan. I think Vandalay Silva is one of my favorite fighters ever because if you watch those fights in Pride, see Jimmy just had to admire his tenacity. He was a fucking an animal. You know, like when the first fight with Dan Henderson, when he was on top of Dan Henderson, that's the original rape choke. He's rape choking Dan Henderson and punching him in the head, and it's fucking terrifying, man. He's a monster. He was a bad motherfucker. But that style, because of that wild, aggressive style, he's taken a tremendous amount of damage in his career, you know? Whereas a guy like Lyoto Machida takes very, very little, you know? Like, a lot of people gave Anderson Silva uh, shit for his uh, fight with uh, Patrick Cote, and I thought that was totally unwarranted, because Patrick Cote presents a lot of unique challenges. First of all, he's got an iron chin. That guy takes a tremendous punch. Second of all, he's got big power, and he's tough. He's going to hang in there. He's going to stay right in front of you. He's going to hang in there. And if he lands a shot, man, you got fucking problems, dude. You're going to see some stars, right? That guy's got power. He could put your shit out. And Anderson felt that power, and I think he played it very cautiously. And that's a smart thing to do. You don't wade right in there and bang with that dude. Patrick Cote's loading up a bomb. He's got a bomb in his hand. He's like, I'm going to just uncork this shit. And you got to be very careful with a guy like that. He's got one ultra-powerful weapon that he just can't wait to hit you in the fucking head with you know you gotta be careful and that's what anderson was doing it's very unfortunate that patrick blew his knee out you know i would have loved to see how the the fourth and fifth rounds went but you know he was you know presenting a challenge you know he was frustrating anderson anderson didn't feel like you know he could commit enough you know and he was really frustrated after the fight you know which makes his next fight even more interesting but what i like is i like a guy like anderson silva a guy who fights with technique he's intelligent a guy like you know a damian maya who doesn't take any damage a guy like Lyoto Machida doesn't take any damage, you know? I don't care if they're strikers or they're grapplers. I don't care what they're... I like watching guys fight intelligently, imposing their will intelligently.